Joy is one of the most positive emotions we humans can experience. To Buddha, joy was one of the most important emotions of all. As Buddha famously said, you have no cause for anything but gratitude and joy. Buddha quote, joy is one of the 16 types of happiness. Joy is different to happiness because it is a more light-hearted, good-humored emotion. While we could say, for instance, that we are happy and mean that deep down we feel content, joy means we are specifically feeling that childlikely and ebullience. To the Buddhist, joy is a shared emotion. Buddha taught that we must learn to share the joy of others, in an empathetic or compassionate way. Access to insight has an excellent article on this, we are naturally born with this ability to share joy. Healthy kids are always laughing with one another and sharing one another's emotions. But as we grow old our empathy reduces one, and we are less likely to laugh with others and to share their joy. This is huge because a big part of becoming happy is the ability to empathically share the positivity and joy of other people. You can read more about this in my ultimate guide to happiness. Shared joy is a double joy. Shared sorrow is half the sorrow. Buddha, to create joy, meditate using smiling Buddha technique. A smiling Buddha technique is an excellent meditation to add to our Buddhist meditation plane. Many people have heard of loving kindness, which is the most commonly used meditation for general happiness and good feelings. Truth is, there is a more powerful meditation for joy. Have you ever noticed how in Buddha statues, Buddha is usually smiling? Buddha found the keys to happiness, and one of those keys is a special meditation technique which just so happens to be called, you guessed it, the smiling Buddha technique. Smiling Buddha meditation is used for joy and to increase self-confidence. Confidence is, of course, one of the most important traits that anyone can have. We all know what it feels like to walk into an interview of confidence, or to approach someone you're interested in and feel genuinely confident about asking them out. That confidence plays a pivotal role. With confidence you will more than likely be successful. Without it, it's game over. Thank you, if you don't happen to wake up of positivity and with confidence glistening in your very skin pores then there is something you can do. You can use Smiling Buddha Technique. The Smiling Buddha Technique was taught to the Buddha by a Rishi, a Vedic term that denotes an inspired poet of hymns from the Vedas. The Rishi taught Buddha the technique to help him to create joy and to overcome negative emotions. The technique the Rishi taught to Buddha, the Smiling Buddha technique, is very simple, but it is also very effective. And despite being first taught over 2,500 years ago, it is still very relevant even in this modern age. The Smiling Buddha technique is a kriya that involves mantra, mudra and chi, along with focus, eye positions and a spot of kundalini yoga. But don't worry. It's a lot easier than it sounds if you have been suffering from depression, anxiety, or low self-esteem, or anything else negative really, or for that matter, if you simply think you could be happier than you currently are, the Smiling Buddha technique will be of tremendous help. Before getting to the technique itself, let's look at some of the benefits of the Smiling Buddha meditation technique. Benefits of Smiling Buddha Meditation How to do the Smiling Buddha Meditation Kriya for joy is it comfortably with your legs crossed and your spine in proper alignment. You may sit in a chair if you prefer, you may find it beneficial to use one of the sitting positions used in Zen meditation. Put your hands in the Mahagyan Mudra by moving the tip of your ring finger under the thumb while extending the other finger straight up. See the picture above. Move your hands so they are at shoulder height and about 10 inches from your shoulders. Your elbows will be bent and your second and third finger should be pointing straight up. Close your eyes and move them so you are looking at your third eye chakra, middle of the forehead. Be sure not to strain your wires. Smile chant the mantra S-A-T-R-N-A-M-R. This mantra means infinity, life, death, rebirth. Meditate on this mantra. 
For more on this read Kundalini Mantras, to finish warm your hands by rubbing the palms together, and place your hands over your wires. Open your wires. Save this page for tomorrow so you can practice again. I would love to know how you get on with this meditation. Let me know if you have any questions of comments, or if there is anything that you would like me to add to this guide to help you out. Leave a comment and remember to subscribe to our newsletter. Share this. Paul Harrison is a meditation teacher, author and journalist based in Hamilton.